Hello, this is Coding Money, and welcome back to the JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structure video series, video number nine. Today, we need to write a function that accepts a positive number n. The function should console log a pyramid shape with n levels using the pound character. Make sure the pyramid has spaces on both the left and the right hand side. Here are some of the examples. As you, as you can see that it has spaces on the right and left hand side of the pound symbol whenever there's needed. Okay, so I would like you to give this problem a try. Pause the video right here. As you might have probably guessed, we need a loop, right? We, as you can see, if the number that's provided is three, we need three rows, right? So we need to, um, uh, write a loop um, like I mentioned in the video uh, before this one uh, that whenever you're working with uh, nested loops it's best to visualize them in the form of a table consisting of rows and columns it makes the problem so much easy uh, so let me write uh, the for loop let row equals to zero um, row less than n um, row plus plus that's easy right so we need three rows and for each line you see this is one uh, line uh, I'm calling each row a line right so I'm going to need an empty string so I'm gonna uh, um, create a variable called line and I'm gonna set it to uh, an empty uh, string now we need uh, to loop over the columns let the column equal to zero and uh, column uh, less than okay so we need to figure out the number of columns because it's uh, as you can see for uh, if the number is three we need five columns so uh, let's hop on to the blackboard real quick okay so what do we need to figure out is the number of columns because number of rows is clear for if n is equal to 2, we have 2 rows. If n is equal to 3, we have 3 rows, right? But uh, the number of columns, if it is 2n minus 1, does this satisfy the number of columns? So if the number is 3, uh, 2 multiplied by 3 is 6, minus 1 is equal to 5. So this satisfies the number of columns. So now we can easily write our inner loop. And we can write it like, um, let me select the same color, for let column equals to zero, column is less than 2n minus 1, column plus plus, right? So now we need to figure out which columns do we need to put the pound symbol in right so if you look at it uh, we know that the middle column always has the pound symbol so let's figure out the formula to find the middle column so if we have five columns and we divide it divide that by 2 we get 2.5 and if we round down this number we get 2 right and you can see that the 2 column has all of it has the pound symbol okay uh, we have a method called math dot floor and to get the number of columns we already know that it is 2 n minus 1 and we divide that by 2, we get uh, the midpoint. We figured out the midpoint. Now we know that there's a few of the pound sign on the right side of the midpoint, and there are a few of the pound sign on the left side of the midpoint. So if you see this uh, carefully and you observe it, you will figure out that. Uh, all the columns that have the pound symbol satisfy this condition. And the condition is column is either greater than or equal to mid 
minus row and column is less than or equal to mid plus row. Okay, so now that we have figured that out, it is so much easy to write the code. So let's uh, hop on the Visual Studio code and write the code for this one. All right, so as I've explained to you on the Blackboard, we now know uh, the number of uh, columns. That is 2n minus 1, and then we get uh, column plus plus. All right. And we also know the condition uh, to use uh, for uh, you know determining which column should have the pound symbol and that is if right if a column is greater than or equal to a mid uh, midpoint minus row and column is less than midpoint uh, less than or equal to midpoint plus row, all right? So we need to, uh, we don't have a variable mid. Uh, we need to create that here. I'm gonna use the mad.floor and 2n minus 1 divided by 2, all right? Okay, and now uh, if um, this condition is satisfied, we know that we need to append the pound symbol. If not, we need to append space. Okay, and right after this inner loop ends, uh, we need to console log uh, the line. Let me save this and run it. Cannot mix big int and other types use explicit conversion. So I'm getting an error. Let's see what error is this. I know what the problem is. We need to multiply two multiply by n minus one. And that's the same thing we need to do over here. We need to multiply this uh, like this two multiply by n minus one, right? So let me save this and run this again. As you can see, I'm getting the correct output this time. Um, and let me try with another. Let's try with nine. Let me save it and run it. As you can see, we're getting a bigger pyramid this time and this code is working perfectly. Uh, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon. Leave a like and comment. It supports the channel. and you know, encourages me to make more videos like this for you guys.